whether or uh, whether you're looking at the news sites, whether it's Facebook or blogs, you get your chance to have your say on almost every website on the internet. But the problem is there is a growing number of people using fake profiles to leave comments filled with hatred, abuse. Psychologists call it de-individuation. To tell us more, Ian Wallace, our psychologist, and Danny, Danielle Miller, good morning all. Good morning. De-individuation. Um, what is this, Ian? No, we didn't make it up. It's actually <laughs> been there for a really long time. It started when we looked at mobs who together did stuff they wouldn't do in person, and when they believed they were anonymous in the mob, they would attack people. So the old riots, all that sort of stuff, or even recently in the London riots, you had people attacking shops, cheering each other on because they thought they were anonymous. Now that's moved to the internet where people will attack someone anonymously, say after a suicide, write horrible things about that person as a group. They're really vitriolic. Believing they're anonymous and no one can actually get at them. So the good old-fashioned pack mentality has moved on to the it's web. Actually, yeah, it's mob mentality, mm. technically, yeah. Mm. Danielle, give me some examples. Gosh, I mean, as a woman commentator, I've been subjected to some really awful abuse over the years, actually. And sadly, Carrie ann it's always happened after an appearance on this show uh, when someone's decided... Do we decided... have nasty people out there watching the program? Well, it seems so. so. Just uh, walk me through this. This was an interesting one. After I came on to talk to you about the little girl that was kickboxing, there was a Facebook site set up where some very prominent members of that community said that if ever there was a question that some women needed to be punched in the face, it was, was you and I and that we were the reason for that. And then... Um, Gee, did I miss that? What a shame yeah, I Yeah, and Facebook. then the commentators <laughs> went on to say things about us being, you know, sort of sluts and fat and femo nuts. Okay, and, sluts I object to. Oh, look, it was just... It was quite horrible, but the interesting thing in this case was that the commentators weren't anonymous at all, that they actually had this on their public profiles. Mm. It's quite distressing because I also have a YouTube account and when I put clips up, the comments can be so inappropriate and so nasty and not actually on the issue at all, but personal attacks on mm. the personalities that are expressing opinions mm. to the point that I've just shut down comments on particular posts. And so happened, can you do that? If yeah, you can. And you need to be very mindful of you, that. You do it as a business. Yes. I don't have Facebook. I don't do any of that stuff because I just think it opens the door to nastiness. It's, it's gossiping that you have no control but of. It's not just us. Now mm. it's happening in places like... In a, a business, everyone will target someone and bully them online mm. behind pseudonym names that I have this screen name so it's not me and I'll attack someone. Or mm. we get cases where people are attacked through a blog and it's not necessarily a commentator like us where we kind of put ourselves out there mm. for no reason. Like the suicide one's the most distressing. Mm. There's a recent Danny case where the girl suicided, they put up a memorial and then all these people started attacking and saying horrid things like, mm. glad she's dead, laugh, she killed herself. You know, and no one would say that in person. That's what really de-inviteration is, that would you go up to that person's yeah. mother and say, ha ha, glad your kid's dead, but people mm. were actually writing that online. And in my case, I did a blog post on that and I shut down comments for that reason, that some of the comments were so personal. Mm. Now, the thing that really troubles me as a female commentator is that if this extreme, you know, the personalising of the attacks, mm. particularly on women, because when male commentators are criticised, it doesn't tend to be based on their appearance at all, mm. that it will actually shut down women so, from wanting to be part of that community, part of that voice. So if this is happening, and clearly it does yeah. happen, what do you do? The I important mean, thing if is that's your job, you've got to, you yeah, know, yeah. really wear it. The important thing is most of these people are bullies. Under mm. Underneath, yes. they're often very insecure, very yeah. inadequate. So well, we what suggest would be one a correct response then? If two, you know these people things, are bullies, either, how do you respond? Two quick things. Either just ignore it altogether. Just don't respond because they want you to get really mm. upset. Mm. Or actually, we sometimes tell people, email them and see whether they'll respond face to face. Because most of them back off. Immediately yeah, they yeah. go, oh, sorry, didn't mean it, didn't, didn't want to actually say and that. And I've got to say, I mean, I you know, don't recommend this at home, folks, but I actually rang some of the people who were making those mm. awful comments and made those graphics about us and fronted them. They were incredibly shocked, number one, that I did that, and incredibly apologetic and actu mm. actually issued a public apology and they could realise so how inappropriate it was. we're now not slutty and fat? <laughs> not publicly, anyway. OK, we're not slutty. Um, no, I'm not talking about you now. I'm not talking. <laughs> hey, it is, it is extraordinary. Pack mentality, moving to the web, look after yourselves and yep. respond And let's realise it's not just young people making yeah, these it's mistakes, everybody. it's adults. Danielle, thank you as always, Ian. Terrific to Pleasure. have you back. Okay, well, it's time for a little bit of style.